Hello everyone, I am Akif and today we will try to understand neighbor discovery in IPv6 with the help of Wireshark. So, neighbor discovery is something that is related to Internet Control Message Protocol version 6. So whenever we use uh, ICMP for IPv6, it's called ICMPv6. And what does it do? It does something like query and error reporting. For example, uh, diagnostic function, the ping, uh, the famous ping function, which we are uh, also aware in case of IPv4. Now, uh, what happens in IPv6 is that there is this neighbor discovery, and it uh, assumes that every device is on every time. Uh, so whenever any host wants to be a part of a network, it first uh, sends a message to the router which is called router solicitation it wants to know whether any uh, router exists on the link or not then the respond uh, the response sent by the router is the router advertisement uh, it, it is the response sent back to a router solicitation and it is sent time and again then any if any node wants to know about its neighbor it sends this message called neighbor solicitation. It actually wants to know the uh, link address of its neighbor. And the neighbor or the node in its vicinity, it responds back with a neighbor advertisement. And this message, uh, this control message is sent even when there is a change in the uh, link address of that node. Now, we will... Uh, try to look at the various packets that we uh, can capture in Wireshark. Now, if, if you want to know about Wireshark, you uh, need to download it first from this website. So what Wireshark does is that it's a protocol analyzer. It's the world's uh, foremost network protocol analyzer and uh, it does the analysis at a microscopic level. So I have already installed it in my system and uh, what I did was I, the moment I uh, turned my internet on, uh, I captured various packets uh, on my system. And uh, you can have a look, we have all these protocols here, ICMPv6, DHCP, Address Resolution Protocol, um, all such protocols. But what we are interested in here is ICMPv6 and as I told you about there are four messages what are those one is neighbor solicitation neighbor advertisement then there is also uh, router solicitation and router advertisement so it might take time to search it out so this is router solicitation now we'll look for router advertisement uh, so whenever you click on any of this for example let's click on this it will try uh, it will give you information regarding its source this is its source and uh, this is its destination uh, so you can have a look at it now let's have a look at uh, neighbor advertisement so it gives information related to it who is the sender who is the destination uh, and other information related to that now let's try to locate uh, router solicitation click on it it also provides information regarding its source and destination uh, so you can have a look at that this is source and destination now router advertisement again we can have a look at it who is the source, who is the destination, and some other information related to it. So this is the entire uh, packet format. Now, it provides a number of useful things. Wireshark uh, comes up with a number of useful things. Now, in order to filter, if you are only interested in I I ICMPv6, you can uh, only have those kinds of 
uh, packets here on your screen so all you need to type is icmpv6 so you will only have icmpv6 now if you want to see all the packets all you have to press is clear you will uh, return to your initial uh, initial protocols on your screen now we will try to look at the flow so you have to uh, click on st statistics and you will try to look at this thing called flow graph so press on it the flow graph will show up I have already opened it now we will try to find out all these uh, ICMPv6 messages so this is neighbor solicitation uh, if you click on this it will try to show you on your initial screen so neighbor solicitation neighbor advertisement then we will try to find um, router solicitation and router advertisement and they are all um, ICMPv6 control messages um, let's try to find out that we need to scroll down uh, yeah this is router solicitation you can have a look at it the moment I press over here uh, th that kind of packet in this in this environment gets highlighted too now let's have a look at let's have a look at uh, router advertisement we'll try to find it out maybe somewhere downwards and here it is router advertisement so you can have a look at this if you click on this you can also have a look at the source and destination of this so this so good this graph also gives you an indication about what the source is here you can find the source and what the destination is here you can find the destination so that was all for today thanks for watching and have a nice